to yet another episode of Deep Thoughts on Marketing. I'm one of your hosts, Jenny, with Jenny Be Creative. And I'm your other host, Mary Ann Sopressi with What's Up Southwest Florida, Teach Me Social. Teach Me Social. Yeah, we're going to teach today. We are going to teach yeah, today. We teach teaching. every day. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. It's all fine. All right, so today, marketing myths, Sasquatch, aliens... <laughs> Big food. <laughs> Big food. <laughs> no, we're not talking that kind of mess. We're talking about things that have popped up that aren't true about it, marketing. It, it, it's preconceptions about marketing. Yeah. And how they should or should not be working. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what the number one is? I hear this one all the time. Yeah, I, know. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Cause you hear it too. Yeah, I do. I know it's it's everybody's my customer. Exactly. That's exactly. Isn't what it that is. cute? And I, you know, I get I get when I ask people that, you know, they're like, well, well, I'm an air conditioning company, so and we're Florida and we need air conditioning. So everybody who has an air conditioner is my customer. Mm. And I'll look at them and I'll go, really? You yeah. think so? Hmm. Mm. I rent. Guess what? Mm. I'm not your customer. My toddler is not my, your customer. Yes. <laughs> my land, the the uh, the uh, apartment owner, yeah, is your customer. Correct. But I am not your customer. Correct. So no, not everybody is your customer. This is true. I hear it with skincare a lot too. You hear it with every industry, exactly. and that is simply not true. Even with graphic design, yes, we are flexible. Yes, we go, but we all have different styles. Exactly. And. Pick one, pick a designer that, number one, you have to get along with. Yes. <laughs> but you know, that's a whole other video. Um, but, but it's their designs and their, what they create is within what your design aesthetic Absolutely. you want it to be. So, so no matter what, whether you're a restaurant, you know, yep. not everybody goes out to eat. You, your pricing may be higher than what they want to spend. You know, I'm not, I'm no, I'm not a fan of Mexican food, so I'm not, I'm not a Mexican food person. Sorry, I'll eat your portion. Okay. Now I like Latin food. I like Puerto Rican food. I like Cuban food. I don't like Mexican food. Okay. I'm not a fan okay. of it. You know, I'll eat it. Personal you know, note. Exactly. Fire tacos tomorrow. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Hey, I like tiramisu Thursday better. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> we're starting. I, let's start okay. a tiramisu. Tiramisu. All right, we're off subject. Right? Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. So, not everybody is your customer. It depends no. on the interest and the desire, your price point, your personality, all those things. That's why you have a brand avatar. Uh huh. And that brand avatar is to is needed to create a marketing plan. Which is the number two myth. Oh, Girl. you need one. Yeah, you don't need a marketing plan. Look at me. Plan. Look at her. Look at me. Yeah. You need a marketing plan. If you don't have a plan, you don't have a strategy, you have no direction in which you're going. Yeah, you're just going to... All you're doing is chasing... spirits and wasting your money. And chasing the dollar. You're chasing the client, you're chasing the dollar, You're and you're not going anywhere but spinning your wheels. And there's no growth, so you gotta have a plan. Gotta have you want to grow your business, you want to expand it, you want to make it into what your dream and vision is. You gotta have a plan and goals and a direction to go in. All right, another myth. If it works for another company, it'll work for us. No, nope. I I see that all the time, and, and especially with the the social media stuff, they'll kind of copy yeah, the, the aesthetics copy. Uh, of somebody else. But they're else. already established brand. Exactly. Why would you copy copy? That just means you're just trying to be them. And you don't want to be them because now you're not standing out. Yeah, you need to be on top exactly. of that brand pile. Now they have a all synerg- your competition down here and you're up here going, oh. If they have a synergistic audience, you want to look at the type of content that is working. Correct. And then you can kind of create your own content of that same type in your brand person personality kind of thing but you know because I see it all the time well coupons coupons work for so-and-so to work for me uh, what's another it doesn't one? work no what's the other Groupon oh my god Groupon we're not even going to Groupon 
No, I've moving seen, on. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, work for me. It'll work for anybody. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. All right, give me another myth, girl. My product. Oh, this is my favorite one. My product or service is good enough. I don't need to market it because it will sell itself. Build it, and they will come. If they only knew it existed. Exactly. <laughs> See how that's a myth? Yeah. Yeah. They, if you build it, they won't come. No. And if you're going to do <laughs> word of mouth, because a lot of people, you're like, well, I don't need marketing because I'm going to do word of mouth. You can't rely on that. It's, it's the best marketing that's out there. It is when it works, but it's, it's not slow. a guarantee. So you got to think of it as a turtle race. Word of mouth is slow. So, very, very slow. So slow. Yes, you have to have it. Yes, you need it. Yes, it helps. But you got to get customers in order for them to talk about it. So that's awesome. Your products and services are are good, right. but not gonna have a marketing itself. plan. Have a budget. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> and this is all my right. all time favorite. All right, one, one more, one more, because we're running out of time. Yep. Give good it. marketing will get results right away. Oh, instant gratification. Yes, I'm gonna put a Facebook ad out. And I'm going to get And everybody that sees it is going to buy my product yep. immediately. Because, and here's the favorite one, Shark Tank. Shark Tank, they'll, they'll bring that up to me. Because they're like, this company, they made $75,000 selling their product with a Facebook ad. I go, I bet they did. One, they probably knew, you know, had a nice audience going. Yeah. They have more than the 45. They had already established. Ex exactly. Which takes time. And they probably spent... I would say if they sold seventy five thousand, I don't know the price point, but I guarantee you they didn't do it on three hundred dollars. No. In one month. So ladies and no. gentlemen, placing a Facebook ad for the first time gets you exposure. It is not going to get you sales. Yeah. It's it's for branding and yeah. get brand recognition. And so you gotta start somewhere and you've got to build from there. Yes, please. Absolutely. Yes, please. So we debunked the myths. We debunked the myths. So go there to our we websites oh, because yeah. on there we have all sorts of resources and tools, some free, most reasonably priced, that you can use to grow your business. Yes, both in marketing and social and media. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Bye.